It's a Wild West kind of night here at New Paris Speedway. A $20,000 top prize awaits one driver from second place on back. It's a bruised ego and a feeling of wait till next year. 20 grand on the rise as the Outlaw Super Late Models are getting set to go in the 13th edition of the Summer Sizzler 100. Brent Jack and Steve Stacy will be your front row. Sean Amor and the 16 machine of Steve Needles will go from row number two. Corey Ryman, Scott Hans, Jeff Gannis, Terry Seneker, JR, Rorick Bryan, Ross Corey, Pressler, Jimmy Carter, Andy Bozell, Rich Bull, and a whole host of others getting set to go. 100 laps in distance. They'll build the speed down the back straightaway. 22 cars and stars of Outlaw Super Late Model Racing set to turn it loose on the hottest quarter mile in the Midwest. Green flag at New Paris. It's Brent Jack on the initial start, side by side already for the number two spot is Sean Amor trying to get the spot away now from the 95 machine of Steve Stacy. Stacy going to drop in line for third. Just goes side by side. And a couple of cars stack up. Problems down in turn number one and two. Five cars involved. The nine machine of Whitman, the one of Scott Ross. Also problems for the 28 machine of Jimmy Carter, the 77 machine of Michael Tutino, and the 88 machine of Andrew DeVries, all with problems down in corners number one and two. It looked like something possibly broke on the 77 machine of Tultino. He comes to a stop, nosed up against the turn one wall. Caution flag will come out. Choose roll Madhouse style restarts. The protocol here in the Outlaw Super Late Models Summer Sizzler 100 at New Paris Speedway. As the field will be shown, the one to go signal this time by Brent Jack, your leader, Corey Ryman second, Sean Amor, Jeff Gannis, and the 95 machine of Steve Stacy, your top five. One lap complete, Scott Hans sits in sixth. They'll pick up speed again, headed down the back straightaway, making their way through corners number three and four. 99 circuits remaining here in the Summer Sizzler 100 at New Paris Speedway. with another good initial start. Sean Amor battling down to the inside of Corey Ryman. Amor trying to get the spot off the fourth corner. Corey Ryman is going the outside lane. Don't count out Jeff Gannis. Gannis is a former winner of this event. He was also victorious back in June at the Bearfield Speedway. In their as the caution flag will come out. Problems for the car that's been dominant over the last month or so in the Outlaw Super Light Model World. Terry Seneker Jr. comes to a stop over in corners number one and two. You see some small damage to the right rear of that number 37 machine, but it appears that he will get that car back going. Yellow flag out, three laps complete. Gonna be interesting to see Terry Seneker Jr. and Jimmy Carter try to work their way from the tail of the field here. Still plenty of time to go in this one. 97 laps to go. Back to green. Brad Jack still at the bottom lane advantage in that car number 41 machine trying to clear the 27 of Corey Ryman. Caution flag gonna fly. One car turned around here on the front straightaway. That's the number one machine, the EverageAuto.com car for Craig Everage out of Angola, Indiana. Also see problems for Andy Bozell in car number 83 as he comes to a stop up in corner number four, right at the exit of the pit area. One to go signal shown to the field once again here at New Paris Speedway. Three laps complete. Brent Jack, Corey Ryman, Sean Amor, Scott Hans. And Jeff Gann is still the top five. Brian Ross, Steve Stacy, And the 32 machine of Josh Summers sitting in that number eight spot. Steve Needles and Terry Seneker Jr. Virtue of the choose roll gets all the way back up to the number 10 spot. Back to green. Another good initial start here from Brent Jack. He's been holding strong in that bottom lane. Sean Amor again battling down to the inside.
side of Ryman. Amor doing everything he can to try to get the spot. Hey, Silver, side by side, working for number one and two. Scott Hanson and Jeff Gannis, the former teammates, working in fourth and fifth. Again, Gannis picked up a big win at Bearfield Speed like about a month and a half ago. Scott Hanson with Korea's up at Dixie Line, came back on June 27th in the Dixie Classic. Hanson now dives into the number three position around the 27 of Corey Ryman. Gannis now taking a peek to the outside of Ryman. Side by side, Station and Brian Ross battling now. That settles the number six position. Stacy's going to get the advantage. Put Stacy now up into the number six spot. Ross back to seven. Side by side, back in the pack is Whitman in the nine, battling with the 37 machine of Seneca. Seneca spun earlier here in this one. Now he'll have to work his way from the tail. He wants to do anything here over this long 100 lap line. Up front, Brent Jack continuing the lead. This time by, we hit the double digit mark. 10 laps go up on the scoreboard. 90 laps to go. Giannis now taking a look to the outside again of Corey Ryman. Few drivers have made that outside lane work, but that also happens to be the key to a good handling car here at New Paris. Side again, Gannis and Ryman continuing the battle. Gannis trying to get Corey this time by. He'll get the spot. Now Gannis will set the nail up Scott Hans. Scant Scott Hans gets crossed up a little bit, almost chops off the 18 machine of Gannis. Gannis will fall back in line. Now he'll regroup. Starting along some laps now, and problems down in corners number one and two. Problems again for the number one machine of Scott Ross as he loops it around. After the fact, the 27 machine of Corey Ryman turns it around. Yellow flag flies once again, 13 laps complete. Virtue of the choose rule, double file restart. Scott Hance will take the outside lane. Sean Amor gonna go to third. Jeff Gannis fourth. Steve Stacy will round out the top five. Brian Ross sits in sixth, Josh Summers sits in seventh, J.R. Roaring eighth, Steve Needles ninth, and the number nine machine of Kenny Whitman will round out the top ten, coming back to green, 13 complete, 87 to go. Brent Jack has been strong on restarts, he'll lead again this time by... Go at it again. Hans in the high lane. Amor on the outside groove. He'll do battle now. They'll continue to battle for that runner-up spot. Meanwhile, Jeff Gannis. Gannis in that number 18 machine driving for Brian Short has run strong here in the past couple of weeks, but he currently sits in fourth. He's boxed in. Jeff Gannis, the Constantine, Michigan driver. He'll go to the high side now of Sean Amor, trying to get that number three spot. Scott Hansen now the battle. Let's go and go into the end of the Brent Jack. These two drivers battled it out for several seasons up in the Angola Motorsports Speedway. They currently sit one and two tonight at New Paris. Gannis now trying to clear off the Constantine of Sean Amor for the number three spot. Gannis going to get the spot as they head down the back straight away. That puts Amor back to fourth. Steve Stacy sits in the top five. Josh Summers still sits in number six position. Rory seventh, Ross eighth, Needle sits in ninth. Field strung out single file. Scott Hanson all over the back corner now to the 41 machine of Brent Jack. Butler, Indiana's Brent Jack and Angola, Indiana. Working. Only one machine is Jack. Gannis is there as well. Gannis fighting his time a little bit. Driver's now setting into a rhythm, just trying to make some laps. 22 in this time at the line. We are close to one quarter mark. Field prominently single file across the entire racetrack now. Gannis going to take a peek now to the inside lane of Scott Hans. Hans doing a great job. of the 
this early, this early stages of this race. Gannis again, can't do anything with hands to the outside, but he'll take another peek and take out the outer. Gannis and Hans used to be teammates at that Great Lakes helicopter team. Gannis now doing everything. again and takes it to the top shelf. Gannis gets another block thrown on him by Hans. Hans has done everything he can to keep that 18 machine of Gannis at bay. While the second and third place cards of Hans and Gannis continue to battle, Brent Jacks continuing to somewhat stretch out his lead. He's got about a four car length advantage. The second and third continue to battle. All this action from second on back is letting the 41 machine of Fred Jack get so much streak away, but not far enough away where the second place on back car can't do anything with him. Summers in the 32, doing everything he can to try to hold off former winner of this race, J.R. Roaring. Then it's the 22 machine of Brian Ross and the 16 machine of Steve Needles.
Troy, Indiana driver, Scott Hans, lurking in Wayne in that number two spot. Series event back on June 27th, part of the Dixie Classic weekend. <laughs> Top two cars starting to gap third place a little bit. They almost have a half a straightaway advantage over the third place battle between Brent Jack and Sean Hayward. But then basically third through seventh running three, four, five, six, and seven. Terry Seneker Jr. is making up a little bit of ground as he now works in the back of his former teammate, Steve Needles, driving Bobby Blunt's car number 16. For as strong as these two cars were in practice, they've had a little bit of trouble working their way through the traffic once this race is on green. This time by halfway, Jeff Gannis leads this race, 50 laps to sleep, 50 laps to go. And now they'll begin working slower traffic. The first one to go down a lap likely to be the 87 machine of Mike Mazzagatti. How these cars work the lap traffic may determine what happens here. And Mazzagatti gets a little swirly. That opens up the bottom groove for Scott Hans to take a peek to the inside of Jeff Gannis. They'll now work side by side to complete lap 52. Nosing ahead of Jeff Gannis. The 87 machine of Mazzagatti acting as a pick for the two leaders as they still work side by side down the front stretch. Gannis is stuck behind the floor vehicle of Mazzagatti. That's going to let the 18 machine of Gannis regain the race lead now and solidify himself in the number one spot. Gannis now opens up about a five car length advantage over the 72 of Gannis and he'll gap the field now by about five car lengths. Gannis going to try to put as many lap cars as he can between him and the second place machine of Scott Hans. Up ahead of him, I believe that's the eight machine of Phil Bozell and the two of, I believe that's the two machine of Charlie Hanna that are doing some decent battling at the back of the pack, and he that is. Charlie Hanna, a longtime New Paris veteran and a multi-time champion of the CRA Late Model Sportsman Series. He gives way now to the leader, Jeff Gannis. Gannis this time by has 43 laps to go. And he now has two star vehicles to get himself and second place Scott Hans. The top two cars starting to separate themselves in the floor as the 72 machine of Scott Hans continues to work the lap traffic, but the battle is still going on back for third. They'll be approaching slower vehicles here shortly. Brent Jack still doing a phenomenal job. Holding on to that number three position over the 28 of John Amor. No real movement made back here between the 95 machine of Steve Stacy and the 25 machine of J.R. Roaring. They both sit ahead right now of the 32 of Josh Summers, as well as the 16 of Needles and the 37 of Seneca. Steve Stacy, Rurig trying to clear him, put the 25 machine 
never mind on that. As J.R. Rorick thought for sure he was going to clear the 95 of Steve Stacey. But the 87 of Mazzagani again playing fits with the faster cars. Stacey doing everything he can as we see Seneca and Needles almost getting into it. Needles gets all kinds of crossed up but keeps the car going. We stay green. Mazzagani still playing fits with the faster machines. So of J.R. Rory, but can't, they guys are still doing everything they can to try to get around Mazzagani. Meanwhile, Andrew and Jack continue to battle as they work around the 88 machine of Andy DeVries. Battle getting ready to be contested once again for the race lead as Jeff Gannis has lost a little bit of time. Scott Hans has caught up to Gannis as Gannis working around the 8 of Bill Motel. And now Gannis will try to do everything he can, and problems. Problems down in corners number one and two. The 32 machine of Josh Summers gets turned around. As possibly some contact with him on the slower vehicle of Mike Mazzagani in car number 87. The way Mazzagani was having all kinds of trouble keeping the faster cars behind him makes you wonder if finally contact had to give way. So those two cars go around. A long green flag run, 70 laps complete, 30 laps to go. Here in the 13th edition of the Summer Sizzler 100. They'll build speed as they work through corners three and four. Back to green at New Paris Speedway, and Gannis gets a phenomenal jump over Scott Hans. Gannis again with a good jump. Brent Jack going to fall in line to third, side by side for the number four spot. Steve Stacy trying to hold off the 28 machine of Sean Amar, and Terry Seneca Jr. Seneker Jr. has now re-cracked the top five after falling to the tail after an early caution. So at 28 laps to go, Seneker will see what he can do here in the closing stages. Seneker going to take a peek now to the inside of Stacy. Stacy holding him at bay so far. Motorsports car number 37, the driver out of Wayland, Michigan. A little bit of damage on that race car, but as we saw just about a week ago at the Berlin race play, a damaged race car is something that cannot stop Harry Seneker Jr. He got an early wreck in the Money in the Bank 125 at Berlin and still came up victorious, claiming the big $10,000 check at the end of the day. Starting to stretch away once again. They've got about a half a straightaway lead already built up on third place Brent Jack. Jack running a strong race here this evening, but not enough to run down the two dominant cars that we've seen all race long. 23 laps to go this time by, closing in ever so close. One driver is just 23 laps away from walking out of this racetrack with a big $20,000 check. J.R. Roehrig and Sean Amor battling it pretty good. Possibly some damage on that right side of that number 25 Roehrig machine. for Constantine, Michigan driver Jeff Gannis, four fifths of the way here in the Summer Sizzler 100. Of the 28 machine of Sean Amor. 
possibly just losing his traction on that 25 car. He spins it around. Caution flag comes out at lap 83. A tough break for the former winner of this event as J.R. Rorick takes his car pit side. You know, wait and see possibly what happened on that number 25 machine. Possibly something breaking, causing that car to spin. Yellow flag out, 17 laps to go. Jeff Gannis still out in front. Complete 17 laps to go. Looking like a fast paced restart on this one. The field getting antsy to get back going. Field stacks up a little bit. Gannis presses the button. We're back to green. 17 to go. Stacy and Seneca going battle at it again for that number four position. Seneca trying to clear Stacy this time by. Seneca Jr. back into that number four position. What a rally this driver has made. He went to the tail on an early caution. He's cracked back into the top five and currently sits fourth. Now he'll put his tail on that third one. Start with Jack. Fifteen laps to go. Make it 14. This time at the line. Hans still doing everything he can. short laps upon the restart. They have already gapped third place for Jackson. Almost like three quarters of a straightaway. Seneca trying to make another peek to the inside of Jack with the no avail. one year ago, but came up just a little bit short to Tyler Rory. And a lot of people said that he was going to be the man to be here this evening in that Ryan Short Racing car number 18. And now, this time by, Jeff Gannis is eight laps away from claiming victory, but we're going to have a caution. Yellow flag going to come out once again here at New Paris Speedway as we see the safety truck rolling onto the racetrack, possibly a piece of debris. Nine laps to settle. The champion of the $20,000 winner take all top prize here at New Paris Speedway. What does this race mean? 20 grand to win, two grand for second. An $18,000 difference from the guy holding the trophy to the guy wishing he was holding the trophy. Nine laps to settle it in the summer season. Jeff Gannis has had the dominant car almost all race long. He gets the lead again and problems. Kenny Whitman loops it around down in corners three and four, caution back out. Ninety-one laps complete. We'll try it again. Kenny Whitman in the nine car tags the tail of the field, set to go back, green flag racing. Jeff Gannis and Scott Hans set to settle it again. Green flag back out in the summer since one hundred nine. Last to go. Here comes Seneca to the inside of Brent Jack, but Jack's going to hold the spot. Some sparks out from underneath of the 37 machine. That cost him a little bit of time. At Enterprise Iron and Metal, Larry Zett Motorsports, car number 37 of Wayland, Michigan driver Terry Seneca Jr. loses a little bit of time but still holds a strong fourth position after falling to the tail of the field. Back early in the race. Good run for local standout Sean Amor in car number 28. He currently sits in fifth. Front. 
this time by Jeff Gannis. We'll see five fingers in the air, five laps to go. Celebratory victory lap here at New Paris Speedway. Constantine, Michigan's Jeff Gannis reigning supreme again here in the Summer Sizzler 100. As Jeff Gannis becomes only the second driver in race history to win a second Summer Sizzler, the only other driver to do it, Tyler Roehrig, the driver who went to victory lane in this event one year ago as the crew comes on to the victory lane ceremonies and is going to celebrate in style as the Wolverine State will reign supreme tonight here in the Hoosier State as Jeff Gannis is champion once again of the Summer Sizzler 100. <laughs> 